Assalamu alaikum guys uh, welcome back to my channel how are you all I hope you're all well um today's video is going to be about uh, a little bit a little tour in my garden and uh, what I'm going to cook so let's get started this is fresh coriander I've used already used some and these are potatoes um I wasn't expecting them to grow but I just did it just for the fun of it but alhamdulillah they've come out really nice and then I've got some spring onions there and I've got some fresh mint there and believe it or not I've got some spinach over here as well uh, let's have a look so let's see if you can actually see see this there 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 that spinach and I've got some there as well it's growing there and while I was looking at these and I saw the spring onions as you can see in these little pockets let's zoom back a bit um they've got seeds in so really proud these by the way these are the white potatoes I've got some coriander fresh coriander over here as well and these are the red potatoes and it didn't take long I think I planted them in April no not April sorry in February sometime and they've come out really nice so what I noticed the potatoes were just coming out the soil so I managed to grab hold of some so I've left these and then I just planted some more in there now there's two different kind of mints this is a mint as well but it's just a different um, shape you can say the leaves are just different but that is actually fresh mint as well so I've got quite a lot of it over here there almost as you can see that looks amazing and it smells amazing as well and this is fresh mint this is I've had this for about a year now and it completely died out last year as you can see the sticks and this year it's just come back to life again so what I did I, I took some from here and I planted it in my garden the one that I've showed you earlier on that's nature these are my apple trees as you can see yeah look beautiful and that's an apple tree as well that one I'll show you in the second. Can you see these little beautiful apples? Can't wait. Some blackberries as well. There. Got some there. I've got loads here. They're blackberries. So look at that. I've got some bees there as well. These are all blackberries. You can see them but yeah look at these so these are the potatoes i mentioned from my garden organic i washed them so i'm gonna cook these in uh, um well i might not cook these i just want to leave them and cherish them for a bit but yeah these are the four potatoes i've taken them out from my garden and they look amazing i'm so proud of myself right I've already cooked my onions and garlic with some olive oil so I'm going to cook these for until the onions are light brown not golden brown just slightly a bit more than what they are that's my cauliflower looks so fresh there we are so I'm going to chop this into small pieces not very small but reasonable that's the colour I like Could hear my pan so I switched it off. So 
that's the colour I like. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Well, I'm just going to add not just a little bit of water in there. And you'll see the light brown colour. I should just come out like this. Okay. And that will soften the onions as well. So over here I've got my mixed spices, it's got tomato powder, curry powder, turmeric, chilli powder, everything it's all mixed um, together so, and I've got a tablespoon of uh, the mixed spices and then I've got a teaspoon of um, salt. And that's all going in here. There. So while I'm cooking, I had some chicken left over since yesterday, so I'm going to roast, I had two pieces left, so I'm going to put this in the oven for about an hour and a half, and I thought I might as well put this in as well. That's my potatoes, I've already peeled, I've washed and chopped them, so they're going in. Good mix and cook these for about 10 minutes as well. And then I'm going to add my cauliflower in. That's my cauliflower <coughs> chopped, washed, and in it goes with the potatoes. another tomato some fresh uh, spring onions from my garden and this is how it looks and look at these beautiful colors and it smells so beautiful there we are I've put some fresh coriander and I'm gonna let it cook on a very low heat putting the lid on there we are and cook that for a, at least 10-15 minutes in a very low heat that's my um, cauliflower and potatoes done. There we are, that's how they look. So I'm gonna take them off now. Right, I'm making a samosa jarred. So I've already boiled the chickpeas, drained them out. Uh, I boiled some baby potatoes and chopped them up. Then I've got cucumber, tomatoes, and then I'm going to add jarred masala. And onions are option. I'm not going to put onions in because my children don't like onions. That's my potatoes in here. Chickpeas, tomatoes, and cucumber. Mixed it up. Then add some spices in there. There we are. Mix it up. So I've mixed everything up and while I was doing that my daughter was uh, peckish so I decided to make a jacket homemade jacket potato so there we are done my jacket potato a bit of salad slice it up so she likes a lot of margarine in her jacket potato I put some salt a bit of pepper uh, margarine and now I'm gonna put some cheese on there we are, I'm grating some cheese and while I'm grating it, because the potatoes piping hot, it's all melting. There we are, now I'm going to put some beans on. There we are. Coleslaw. 
that's jacket potato done now if you like this please comment in the comment section below what do you think of this i'm doing all sorts today so like i mentioned i put roast in as well that's looking good so i'm gonna leave that for another at least it's not be it hasn't been an hour so i put some yogurt in that's how it looks there we are so i'm probably might just garnish it with some coriander fresh coriander and until then i'm frying some samosas homemade samosas there there we are that's the roast done i've taken them out of the oven thank you very much for watching uh, please if you like this uh, video please do like subscribe and comment on uh, this video your views and your opinions are very very important to us and thank you very much for watching until next time goodbye